For a RAM MOT, we want to do a visual assessment of the RAM standing on its feet. We've seen the RAM walking round about and he's walking smoothly and soundly uh, on his legs. Uh, the, lambs, the RAM is looking alert and bright. Uh, he's nice alert, bright eyes, nice wet muzzle. We want to have a look at his teeth and make sure he's got all his teeth he has uh, and his teeth are meeting his pad uh, correctly uh, and, and smoothly. Uh, so this tup is he's, he's, his mouth's fit to go and graze and chase ewes for another season. He's in good condition. Ideally, you want your ram in a condition score of three and a half uh, to four at this time of year. And this ram's a, as a three and a half. Uh, he's, he's, he's looking well uh, and, in, and in good order. As I said, he's paraded round the pen here uh, soundly on his legs. We're now going to tip him up uh, on his back and have a thorough uh, look at his feet. So we've got the ram immobilised. We're going to have a thorough look at his feet and in between uh, his toes to make sure there's no granulomas uh, or, or lumps uh, or sores in between his toes and his feet are absolutely perfect. The next thing we want to look at is his testicles and we want to have a good examination of the testicles. Firstly, you should have two. They should be evenly sized and they should be able to move freely uh, within his scrotum as this rams do. They should be firm to the touch, they shouldn't be spongy and they should be about the same consistency of a flexed bicep. At the base of his testicles he should have two firm ping pong ball sized uh, objects and this is his epididymis, this is where the sperm is stored and this tup uh, is, is, is perfect in that department. His testicles should be about the same circumference as my thumb and fingers make as a rough guide, probably about 35 to 40 centimetres. The bigger the testicles the better, uh, smaller rams are perfectly fertile and able to mate, use and breed, however they don't have the same uh, semen storage and capacity to go in uh, and tuck the same amount of sheep. The final place we want to look when we're examining a ram is at his penis and his penis should be able to be extracted quite easily from his sheath and an examination it should be free from any lumps or, or, or sores, it shouldn't be red or sore or have anything there that's going to restrict them from mating with the ewe and the, small, the worm at the end of his penis should be free from lumps that may suggest that this ram has got urinary calculi but this ram is absolutely perfect uh, in that respect. Now a good fit sound ram like this should be perfectly able to go and mate with ATUs. Now a tup MOT is very important as I said and it's very important you do this at least six to eight weeks pre-tupping.